So from here, we're going to use a TheraBand. This is encompassing from the next exercise in our turnout. We're going to put this band onto our feet, cross it, and we're going to turn our feet out and back in. Turn it out from your thighs and back in. Squeeze your shoulders. Maybe even lift your heels off the ground by pushing the knee into the back of the ground. So you're going to feel strengthening in the inner thighs. This is strengthening your turnout or inner thighs and also your whole body. So hold here. Really pull for five, four, three. Squeeze your heels together, ribs in, shoulder blades back towards each other. Two, one. Beautiful. So this series this is all about turning out and allowing your body to build inner thigh strength as well. So this is a lot of work for people that haven't done it, but it helps a lot with active flexibility. It helps with handstands, helps with ballet dancers, yoga, and all sorts of things. So turn your foot out and let's do some rotation to activate your inner thigh. Two. One, now we're going to bring it the other way, shoulders to the back, sit up tall, squeeze your heel a little bit more towards the other heel. So from here, so we want to extend up and down now. This gets really burny through the inner sides. Two and one. Beautiful. We're going to flex our other foot. So we're going to start with the circles. One leg is always easier than the other. Lengthen your spine, ribs in, other way. Keep the knee crease really lengthening towards the ground. Use your quads to activate that. And then we're going to lift up. So lifting up and down. Imagine you have a teacup on your heel, and you're really trying to keep that balance. So four, three, two, one. Woo, shake it out for a second. So from here, I want you to bend your knees. I want you to cross your hands. And I want you to push forward and push your feet towards the ground. And then extend up. My mat is not so slippery. And then extend out. So you're going to feel a deep stretch under your knees as you do this. I'm going to do two more times. So five in total. Really try and bring those pinkies towards the floor. Two more. If you're not able to straighten the knees all the way, go as far as you can as long as you feel the stretch in the back of your knees. So one more, and we're gonna hold this one. So as we get down, we're gonna lengthen our spine and really lengthen those knees, pull the big little toes down. Two, one. Beautiful. Shake it out. This is also a great warm up to straddle and it really helps you to be able to get inner thigh strength which is very very important. So from here, flex your feet, heels are in, point, so we're going to flex here and we're going to flex and then we're going to point and then bring it back together. Point, turn out the feet, flex. Then we're going to point and bring it back together. Heels together the whole time and knees as close as possible. Okay? So, really tight in the thighs as you do this. It's a really small movement, but you should feel your inner thighs shaking. Last one. So, we're going to freeze here, holding here. We're going to point the right foot here. The flex foot, the left foot is going to lower to the ground. So as you keep one leg steady, 
you're going to bring this leg out to the side with the flexed foot and touch to the ground. Keep your hip as even as possible. Keep the other leg strong and extended as possible. Make sure your heel is lifting your leg up so you're using your inner thighs. So from here, point your other foot and flex the other foot and we're swapping sides. Squeezing the heel together. Make sure the butt cheeks are glued to the floor. Your lower back is glued to the floor. Your core is working. Your shoulders are open. Let's do two more times. Make sure your heel is going in the whole time and leaving the movement on the way up for that inner thigh. Last time. Slowly point and bring your feet down. And that is your inner thigh workout. So I hope you enjoyed. This is a great way to get the inner thigh working and increase your turnout. So these two videos should give you great advantageous leads towards active flexibility and also the ability to understand how to create active flexibility. So a lot of time when we think of flexibility, we think someone's just naturally able to turn their leg out like this, but there's a big difference between say, sitting here in a butterfly position and sitting here and using my glutes to pull it down. So if I'm going from here to glute activity, my legs are all the way down, but that is because I'm using active flexibility as I do it. So make sure when you're doing your flexibility to keep your body safe and to keep your body strong. The aim is to get the passive flexibility and active flexibility very, very close. So passive flexibility is when you're sitting here like this and active flexibility is when you're engaging your muscles to bring yourself into the deepest position possible. So what actually happens, for example, is when I sit in the straddle, split on the floor, with my passive flexibility and gravity helping me, I can nearly do um, a very deep straddle. It's not quite to the ground, but when I do it through my active flexibility, my legs are a lot higher because my glute muscles are not able to pull me into that position as deep. So my aim is to build that difference by getting stronger in my muscles, such as my glute max, minor, medius, my tensor fascia latte, my adductors, all of these things, quadriceps, all are working to gain a really strong flexibility in the leg through active. And then the passive flexibility is also there, but it's in a safe realm as well. So I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. I'll bring you some more videos soon. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.